Now listen, I could put a background up and it would look a lot better than, you know what I'm saying, you just seeing the background of my shit, you feel me? But like, it is what it is, because this is all I'm working with right now, you get what I'm saying? So check this out. Um, You seen the title. You seen the title, Tanja Exposed. Um, I want to let y'all boys know something. I came, and not even just boys. I want to start off with why I'm here and what, what makes me bring the video in general. Like, what is the point? What is the reason why I'm making this video? Like, why, like, Tanja, why is you making this video? Yesterday, for those of y'all boys that are uh, subscribed to my channel, I need to stop saying boys because, I mean, there's girls over here, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But for those of y'all that are subscribed to my channel, um, I uploaded a video yesterday. Um, yesterday, I, uh, it was like a, a it was an Up Church and Adam Cajon video yesterday. And, you know, it was just like a regular one of my reactions. You know what I'm saying? Y'all boys request the video and I dropped the video for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I dropped the video and most of y'all over here was showing me love. Y'all was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? The video was tough. Um, great reaction. Um, you spoke from a lot of different viewpoints and things like that. Now, one thing about me, bro, when I upload a video and I kind of think I'm, I'm, I'm speaking on points that, you know, that other people can relate to or viewpoints where other people can get an intellectual connection to what I'm saying. It forces me to, well, it doesn't force me, but it gives me like an idea to, to move it to another platform. And that's what I do. So what I did was I took clips of that video and I posted clips of those video, clips of that video on Instagram. Cause you know, I pretty much was trying to get it out to the rest of the people that did not see the video. Now, when I posted that on Instagram, when I posted that on Instagram, um, basically I was expecting it to, you know, people to get, you know, to watch it and things like that and come from a different viewpoint. Like I'm thinking that people kind of agree to what I'm saying or the, you know what I'm saying? To, to feel when I'm, when I'm getting across, you get what I'm saying? It was a loyal supporter that's been rocking with me since day one. Now, mind you, this has no no hate against bro. No hate. But I just, there's a reason why I'm bringing this video. It was a loyal supporter that's been rocking with me since day one. I mean, he's been over here since day one. And he commented under the video. And basically, he disagreed. He had, he had a, a, a regular disagreement, which I had no problem with. He basically dis disagreed with the fact of how he, he he doesn't support Trump, first thing. Second thing, he doesn't like the fact that the, the rapper in the song uses the N-word on a consistent basis. And the last thing, I had no problem with none of that. And the last thing, he kind of flipped it on me and he said, you know, you're a black guy selling out your own race. Now, if it was just with somebody regular, I would care. I could care less. But I seen the fact he been over here rocking with me since day one. He been over here since I started my channel. And now I think a lot of a lot of my supporters over here. And everybody that watched my videos kind of think I'm one way and other people think I'm this way. But I'm coming here now to set the record straight. When I seen that post, it got under my skin. I'm not going to lie. It got under my skin. But why did it get under my skin? Why is it making me give this video? I want to let y'all boys know I don't stand for race. I don't stand for race. I never did and I never will. I don't stand for whites. I don't stand for blacks. I don't stand for Asians. I don't stand for Jamaicans. I don't stand for Indonesians. I don't stand for Chinese. I don't stand for no race out there. 
Puerto Ricans, Latinos, I don't stand for them. Dominicans, doesn't make me a difference. What race you are, I don't stand for a specific race. I stand for humans. I stand for people in general. Understand me when I say this. The color of my skin, this is what you see. When I look at an individual, I don't see color of skin. Now, other people may portray you to be a certain different way because those are the type of people that act that way or a certain way because of that's the way we see a person and we say, okay, that's where we've seen other people of that color of skin act the same way or act a certain different way. And you should act that certain different way because you have the same color skin that they do. Understand when I say this. I don't stand for no race. You see race. I see humans. We're two totally different people. And a lot of people are over here and support me. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting a vibe where people are starting to think that I'm standing up and I'm picking sides. I don't pick sides. Both races have a problem. I just stand in the middle. I keep every race all around me. It's like tribes all around me. I stand in the middle. I don't stand for race. Period. I don't care if you white. I don't care if you black. I don't stand for race. You may stand for race. I don't. But why? Why is it that, that I don't stand for race? Why is it that when I see a a, a, a white person or if I see an Asian person I see a human and you see race and you cling to your kind there's nothing wrong with that if you cling to your kind there's nothing wrong with that but I'm here to let you know that racism does exist it exists yes why does it exist I have no idea it's the most dumbest shit to me on the planet earth this shit is stupid but I have people over here, I want to set this record straight. I have people over here that probably think that I'm selling out my own race by doing videos that are pretending to be white people when black people normally don't do these videos. It ain't really the dude, it ain't really I'm attacking the guy, but I want to set the record straight just for those of y'all to understand me and where I'm coming from and what I stand for. I stand for humans as a whole. Whether what race you is. I'm not picking sides. I don't pick black people's side. I don't pick white people's side. I stand in the middle. I bring, I want everybody to come together. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But at the same time, don't, don't put me in a category where I'm picking sides. I don't stand for race. I stand for humans. That's what I stand for. Now, let me give y'all boys a little backstory about me. I've been on... The reason why I have the knowledge that I do have is because I've been through it all. I've been through it all. I've seen it all. I've been through it all. I promise you, I've been through it all. I've been around whites. I've been around blacks. When I used to be a kid in school, man, like, you know, back in the day when I was younger, all I did was want to hang around with the whites because I never wanted to be in the streets and sell drugs and kill people because I looked at it, it was stupid. So in the hood that I grew up in, people wanted me to do those type of things, but I chose not to. So I wanted to go to the white side of town and they used to always criticize me because I wanted to go to the white side of town. But I seen people, they seen race. So by me going to this other side of town, I was pretty much saying like, man, these people are trying to better themselves. And that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I don't want to hang around this group of people because I may get locked up and I don't want that to happen to me. I want to better myself. So I need to go around people that's trying to better themselves. And the people that I'm going around that's trying to better themselves are white. So when I was going around these certain different people. I was criticized, not only by the people that were black, but I was also criticized by the people that were white. 
I seen both sides of the story. They used to call me a Oreo. They used to call me like I'm black on the outside, white in the inside. And then I noticed that they looked at me a certain different way. Like I was kind of like sticking up for them. I'm not sticking up for y'all neither. I'm not sticking up for no fucking body. I've been I've been slashed by whites. I've been slashed by blacks. So with that understanding, and I have that, now the only thing that I can do is stand alone and try to bring every race around me together and to look at people as humans, not as race. Because we all know that they are segregated and nobody wants to move out their segregation. I've been around both sides of the street. I've been stabbed in the back by both sides of the street. So this is just me sitting, setting the record straight. I am standing for all races. I don't see race. If you see race, then you may not agree with me and you can move on. I don't see race. I've been stabbed in the back by both. Both. Asians and all that other stuff, I haven't been around them, so the, I, I can't give you a I can't give you a, a a vision of what I see because I haven't been around it in my lifetime. I never had really Asian friends and things, but as far as blacks and whites, I've seen both of them. With that being said, I just wanted to bring this video for y'all and let y'all boys know, man. Um, I'm not standing up for whites. I'm not standing up for blacks. I'm not standing up for neither y'all. What I stand up for is to come together and make a change because the people that's at the top, they got y'all fighting against each other so they can control you. And until you realize that and bring everyone together, they gonna keep doing it. The word conquer and divide exist. So with that being said, man, I appreciate every last one of y'all for rocking with me. I just had to set that straight. I have to let y'all boys know that no, I don't stand up for nobody. You know what I'm saying? I stand up for humans as a whole, regardless of race. It doesn't, I'm not cling to a specific race. I'm not cling to whites. I'm not cling to blacks. I see both problems. Black people have problems. White people have problems. Everyone has problems. Push the problems to a side and work together to dominate the world. Until you realize that, you're going to stay segregated. And they're going to keep controlling you. So, um, I, like I said, man, I appreciate every last one of y'all for rocking with me. Um... I might drop some more videos after this one, but you know, I just wanted to second set the record straight for for those of y'all that support me. That's part of the TJY gang, as well as um the uh the blacks that may look at me like I'm I'm choosing a side. I want to I wanted to set that straight. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate every last one of y'all, man. I'm gonna keep grinding. I'm gonna keep dropping these videos, and this is Tanja Exposed, man.